was murdered by a man in a yellow sweater. Come with me, hoes. Brooklyn, Brooklyn. What's up, everyone? It's Adam from FWCI. I couldn't stay away from the Brooklyn Nine-Nine for too long. This episode's called Windbreaker City, episode 15. Windbreaker, that's what the Americans call, we just call it a jumper. It's just like a big, thick, long sleeve thing with no collar on it. Whack it on. We call that a jumper. Um, is it going to be cold in Brooklyn in this episode? I don't know what's going on. Give me more Wunch. Give me more Holt. Give me more Santiago. I feel like she's been a bit of a background player the last couple of episodes. So we're due for some Santiago. And fingers crossed that Rosa breaks up with Nick Cannon. Because I really don't like him. But let's have a look at episode 15. Thank you for the support. Subscribe if you're new. Let's get it. And I just want to walk up to Sophia, slap her in the face and say, girl, you messed up. You need to destroy that stuff. You want me to crush that big box into a little ball with my bare hands? <laughs> no. Fuck yeah, do it. Text Sophia. You know who'd appreciate that a lot is Sophia. I'm gonna text her. I'm gonna take that phone now, Jake. <laughs> I'd like to see you try. Well, you did that very easily. <laughs> Look, I understand that you're trying to help, but I promise you the best thing for me right now is to text Sophia. Take my phone. Hmm? Why hasn't she written back yet? God, this feels terrible. You two could have stopped this, but you didn't, you monsters. Peralta, oh no, yeah, he's pretty hung up on Sophia. Can't say I blame him, to be completely honest. The actress that plays Sophia is absolutely gorgeous, but Santiago is also pretty gorgeous as well. So come on, Peralta. I keep checking my phone every three seconds like a loser. Tread lightly, son. Jacob, <laughs> have you done any of the catharding exercises I gave you? Well, I don't own a bathtub, so the first two pages are out. <laughs> Thanks to our stellar scores at last year's Tactical Village. Nine, nine! <laughs> they want us to fill in. We are the only non-federal agency ever invited to this event. Oh, shit. This is a huge opportunity, and we are going to nail it. Nine, nine! Yeah! yeah! Charles, <laughs> you know what I'm thinking? Just quickly, I went to a UFC event years ago and my mate I was with, we were sitting really up, really far up the back and my mate tried to get the Aussie, 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 oi, oi, oi thing on, which is actually surprisingly difficult to get going in Australia, to be completely honest. He yells out the Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Nobody in the arena says anything. Probably about... I don't know, half an hour later, as, as the show goes on, somebody about 20 feet away from us, Ozzy, 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 the entire arena's, oi, oi, oi. My mate was absolutely crushed. <laughs> Both of you requested to have this Saturday off, but I need one of you to work. Oh, I can take that shift. Well, the last time you worked a Saturday, you watched cartoons the entire time. Well, that's when they're on. <laughs> Oh, this is going to be uncomfortable. I have tickets to a TED Talk on power poses and getting what you want by using your body. Uh-oh. I hope it doesn't get too sexual. Mm. Uh-oh, I hope it doesn't get too sexual. Title of your sex tape. Mm. But seriously, what is taking so long? Also the title of your sex tape. Well, I have plans <laughs> on Saturday, too. I'm having dinner with my parents. So? You don't even like your parents. You call them smiley morons and hug freaks. Plans are plans. I'm a badass, not an anarchist. I don't buy it. <laughs> You know, if you told me what you were really doing, I'd consider changing my plans. But you didn't. So, I'm getting Saturday off. Are you trying to power pose me? I don't know. Maybe I'm supposed to be sitting in a chair. This is why I need to see the talk! <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> I need someone to take this personality test for my psych class. I was hoping to wow my professor with a genuine psycho like Amy <laughs> or Hitchcock or Charles would be great. I'm not a psycho, but I could take your test. That um, would be awesome. Hope. I do need to warn you. You are a bit more psycho than you probably think. <laughs> little unflattering. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Your blood pressure's normal. Normal? Take it again. I'm not afraid to have my flaws <laughs> exposed. But just to be clear, though, it is possible to get a result that shows no flaws? I guess. Good. Good. Can't wait to begin. Fuck. 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 <laughs> oh, no. No, no, no. This is not going to go good for Holt. <laughs> He's already overthinking it. Hey there. Jake Peralta, NYPD. Pleasure to meet a colleague. Colleague? Dude, ah. read the jacket. Ruxin. Homeland. My name is Agent Kendrick, Homeland Security, and I am in charge here. <laughs> Sorry, that was wrong. He told me. <laughs> Homeland Security, you are command control. Marshals, strike team alpha. 
and NYPD. Helicopter snipers, helicopter snipers. Says here, you will be our hostages. What? Oh. You just want us to lie on the ground and do nothing like a bunch of losers? Yes, precisely. No. Jackpot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not at all surprised that Hull Scully and Hitchcock can do the no-look high-five. Boyle, free me, then I'll free you. We're fighting back. No, Jake. We are behaving so we can be invited again next year. Sarge. I don't like it. Something stinks. Well, I'm sorry, but I refuse to mask my natural musk with a bunch of chemicals. Ugh. I was talking to Rosa about her dinner with her parents. Yeah, good point. She's going out with fucking Mariah Carey's husband. What body of water do you most identify with? A, lake, B, river, C, ocean. Oh, they can't be serious. Of course I choose ocean. I hate the ocean. That's where that stuck up bitch Rose let Leo die. <laughs> A category I9C3G6. I9C3G6. Is that as good as it sounds? <laughs> Strength, determination, tenacity. Yes, I suppose that's accurate. Mm. They do call me Tenacious Ray down at the country club <laughs> because for the past 10 years I've been suing them for discrimination. <laughs> I'm very pleased with this assessment. You should be. I took the test too, and I also got an I9C3G6. What? Oh no. All right, Sarge, now to cut you loose. Shit. No, I'm staying tied up. I don't care how much of a jerk Kendrick is. I wanted to be clear, I had no part in this. No offense, but you are a huge waste of muscles. Okay, boy. Don't tell me this is gonna be like a... The, like, the, the goal is for them to break out. Like, it's really a drill on what happens if law enforcement gets taken hostage. We're fighting back, you terrorist crap sack. Also, thank you for including us in this event. <laughs> Do you have anything I can throw? I have a dog tag. Oh, that is badass, Boyle. Nope, it's an actual tag for a dog. Yep, Molly, she was my poodle growing up. <laughs> never forget your first. Your first what? Dog. That is never what people mean yeah, by that. Yeah, Boyle, you worry me, mate. What's up, dude? Is it lunchtime? Is the drill over? We're freeing you guys. Jake, can you hear me? Is it lunchtime? No, it's not <laughs> lunchtime. It's 10.30 in the morning. 10.30. <laughs> you two are still arguing about who gets Saturday off, right? Mm -hmm. Highest body count wins. Done. I'm gonna vape you like my e -cig. Okay, you basically just lost. 9-9, nine, nine. <laughs> we are hostages no longer. Now, really meant to rip off the whole thing, but I say we go with it. Come with me, hoes. <laughs> I shot a guy in the face. He is so mad at me. Nice. That's not a good thing to do, Boyle. Hitchcock and Scully. We're killed immediately. Yeah, we're dead. <laughs> <laughs> Drop them now or this ah, man. You did, crap sack. Hey! Right. I thought cops love to sit around on their fat asses all day and do nothing. That's it. Um <laughs> My ass is not fat! <laughs> Let's get the hell out of here. Drinks on me! Night night! Yeah! yeah. Alright! <laughs> Does this sound like a game? I am a terrorist leader. My name is Francis Gruber. My brother Hans died at Nakatomi <laughs> Tower at the hands of John McClane. Also, I'm related to Jeremy Irons from the third one. Okay, so it is a game. Well, I'm not playing. Drill's over. Drill's over, boys. Yeah, that sounds right. We're not on the same level. Don't forget to check out my diehard reaction. <laughs> you trying to goad me, Peralta? Because I'm in charge here and I don't have to engage with mall cops. But I will. Say it, don't spray it. <laughs> One large pizza with fennel sausage, brick oven, otherwise it's Sog City, and gas and X. Doable! You have 30 <laughs> minutes to meet our demands. After that, we pay. If the waddling was super fast and cool. Like some boss ass penguins. Yes! Yeah. I'm so glad you're back on our side, Sarge. Okay, let's destroy some good guys. Come on, Gruber. Let's do it. Don't mind if I doodle. Curious. On your personality test, you said your favorite shape was a square. And yet now, when you're given a choice between round cookies <laughs> and square blondies, you opt for the cookie. You opt for the circle. Yes, but it's not about shapes. I'm choosing a cookie over a blondie. I'm whimsical, but I'm not a lunatic. <laughs> you're trying to get me bumped out of I9C3G6. You don't like that the test put us in the same category. <laughs> That is so rude. Do you know how many basic bitches would kill 
to have the same personality as me? Gina, you know I appreciate <laughs> you. But I, of course, am exotic silk, whereas you, sir, are snakeskin. So you can keep your box of deception <laughs> and leave me alone. It's a box of shapes, and it contains only the truth. <laughs> the truth. It's over, and we're still tied, 8-8. Eight, eight. What the hell? 9-8. Saturday's mine. You said body count, you didn't say whose body. Boom! Oh. Power pose! Ah! Santiago. <laughs> is Jake gonna lose his shoes in this pretty soon? <laughs> no way, this is brick oven. They were playing us, Jake! Right, you're having a moment. <laughs> so, I'm already 10 pounds heavier than the picture she saw. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, just to clarify, those are your last words because I'm about to shoot you. No! What? No! <laughs> Gun tape to the back. All these diehard references gave me the idea. <laughs> I got John McClane. That is so much worse than any paintball. <laughs> I finally get all these jokes. This is amazing. You took all our guns, taped us to a bunch of chairs, called us fat, and we still took almost all of you out. Next year, we're winning this thing. Oh, you're not coming next year. Mm. But maybe I'll see you at the Pentagon Christmas party? Oh, right. You guys aren't invited to those. Kid Rock was there. Ooh. Gina, I've been thinking long and hard about what happened yesterday. Oh. Pray tell. But remember, <laughs> I'm not at your level, so do speak down to me. I owe you an apology. The test was wrong to classify us both as I9C3G6s. That's a terrible apology from content to tone. I meant... <laughs> or even an I7C7G8 or I2C1G3. Is this a Rain Man impression? No. no. Those are all personality types not well suited to leadership just as I have not been. A good leader should never diminish those around him. Wow, look at you, ho. And most importantly, any basic bitch would be lucky to be like you. <laughs> apology accepted. That's an apology. Can I have a huge raise? No, but I am expanding your responsibilities <laughs> to match your great promise. You are now in charge of all scheduling decisions and budget tracking. No! You can do it, trust More me. More work for you, Gina. It's crazy how much she flirts with me. <laughs> Also, it was crazy assertive, and I feel like maybe I don't actually need power pose training. You don't. Mostly because nobody needs power pose training. <laughs> the dinner with my parents on Saturday is to introduce them to Marcus. What? Why didn't you just tell me Rosa. I didn't know was getting that serious? What about Doug Judy? Rosa's in love. <laughs> power pose. <laughs> Hey, get out of there, Jake. Jake and Sophia, enemies for life. Like McLean and Gruber. You're, You're the, the Gruber. Gruber. You're the Gruber. <laughs> wow, yeah, we're getting right into the um, diehard references in this episode. Man, Nick Kroll is really funny. I enjoyed him in um, The League. That was my introduction to him. And uh, he plays the like douchey bad guy character to perfection. I know what that says about him, but he makes a great villain. Ruxin is just an absolute piece of work in the league. Rose is now getting more serious with Marcus. Ugh, that sucks. I just don't like Nick Cannon. I just never really found him to be that entertaining. Um, Peralta is moving on. What's Santiago doing? She was, uh, oh, she, oh, that's right. She went to the day off to take her power pose training. We've got to be on the verge of Santiago and Peralta matching up now that Sophia is out of the picture that's got to be what the next big story that happens is Terry was really funny in this one as well I like when he started standing up for the cops and uh, again I like the little nods of continuity like the flash the uh, callback to the uh, tactical training that they did in season one I also loved the um, Captain Holt and Gina storyline there and how Holt was just getting consumed by the fact that he and Gina apparently had the same personality type on that test as soon as she mentioned it you could see that like his brain was just like processing and calculating the moment that the topic or the idea of him taking this test was brought up so love that side of Holt and does it make sense that Holt and Gina have the same personality type? I don't know, you, you let me know in the comments. What do you think? Are Holt and Gina the same personality type or is something amiss in this one? <laughs> but thanks for checking this one out, everyone. And as always, be well, stay safe, look after your friends. See you in the next video. Peace.